Tired of not finishing your triangle every time? Learn these four hacks to beat the four most common escapes from triangles so you, once you get a triangle, you finish each and every time. G'day guys, Coach Tom here with my beautiful wife Jackie and today we are going to have a look at four techniques that I use each and every week and these tips are going to help you finish the triangle every time. Okay, so the first triangle finish we're going to have a look at is when I have a triangle but my opponent has wrapped their arm around and they have good posture. So she's wrapped her arm around here and we've all found this in a triangle. It has a very simple finish. We're going to take our left fist and we're going to put it in the carotid artery. So just right here under the ear, we're going to put it in the carotid artery and now I'm going to pull her head down, squeeze my knees and hip up and I get a quick tap. See when they wrap their arm around here, it makes it hard of course to bring the arm over so her front deltoid here will block off her right carotid artery. So when she wraps around, she'll often feel very safe. So if we take our left fist, we put it in the neck, we grab the back of the head and then we still squeeze our knees in, punch with our left fist as we pull with our right hand and we get a quick and easy tap here. So that's the first way that we can finish a triangle when we have an opponent using this pesky defense. Now the opposite of this defense is if Jackie brings her hand all the way through and holds onto my leg here. This is extremely common. A lot of people call this the Hodger Gracie defense. So she's going to bring her right elbow all the way down here and they can start prying open the legs. This is very effective. This is a triangle escape I personally like as well. However, we have a very fantastic finish we can do. We just need to know how. So when I feel my opponent go for this Hodger Gracie triangle defense, I'm going to turn and face my opponent and making sure I get part of my belly behind her tricep here. Okay, so I've got part of my belly behind her tricep. I am now going to get two hands onto her right hand. Okay, and I hold this the whole time. I now bring her right hand to my chest. So we can see that there's an Americana happening right now. Okay, so once that's on my chest, I very slowly hip over towards my opponent's head this way as her right arm gets bent back and she has to tap very early. So she's grabbing at my leg. I'm going to face her. I get two hands onto her hand. I bring it to my chest. Now a lot of people will tap if you do this forcefully. However, if you needed to have extra power, simply bridge your hips straight in line with her head. So up at a 45 degree angle here. And she has to tap. Be very careful with this one, okay? That's our second way we're gonna finish our triangle. If we have an opponent who brings their knees all the way up and is facing really high like this and is pushing off at our waist, okay? This can be very hard because we can't grab their head, okay? They've got great posture. So what we're going to do is again use two hands and locate one of their hands. Overpower their hands. But let's try to grip below the wrist, not the fingers, but grip below the wrist for maximum power and leverage, okay? So we grab her wrist and you are going to turn it out until it stops turning, okay? In this case, I have turned Jackie's thumb all the way down. So I've turned it all the way down. I hold it to my chest and I simply hip up for the triangle armbar, okay? So she's here and she's got a good posture. Look, I can't grab, I can't put anything in her neck. I can't grab her head but this is right close. So I grab her hand, I twist it all the way out, and then I lift up my hips for an easy tap, okay? Finally, we have the opponent who just has good posture and they're not letting you look. I can grab her head, but she's got too strong a posture. Look, I can't, I just can't, I can't seem to get her down, okay? This is gonna be the tip we need. In a gi, you can grab a collar, Otherwise, just grab the head as best you can, okay? And what we're going to do is you are going to shuffle backwards on the mat. This is a magic trick to break the posture. Because remember, for a triangle to work, we need to have one arm in, one arm out, check, but we need her posture broken. So this is how we're gonna do it. We reach up and grab the head. If you couldn't grab the head, you can grab the collar and hang on tight, like you're hanging on for your life. 
Okay, lift your body off the mat and then simply wiggle backwards. And the, the amount of force, okay, and leverage on her lower spine and lumbar region just grows exponentially and she's forced to break posture. At which point, we can adjust our triangle if necessary and finish as usual. So if we do this again, I have Jackie in a triangle and in our fourth scenario, we've just got the guy or girl with the great posture and we just can't seem to get any power here. So if we want the choke, let's grab the head or the collar and now lift our butt off the mat and wiggle back towards the camera here. And now we simply can adjust our triangle. They've got a broken posture and we can finish extremely easily. So there you have it, four ways that we can finish the triangle. In my opinion, when you lock a triangle, you should always finish. Now, it's sometimes not possible to finish with a choke. Sometimes we need to finish with other things. So, if your opponent wraps their arm, we can put the fist into the carotid artery here and finish the choke. If they posture up with straight arms, we can finish with a triangle arm bar. If they bring their elbow over, we can finish with an Americana from the triangle position. And of course, if they've got posture of which we cannot break, we can simply hold onto their collar or their head, lift our butt off the ground to make sure all of our weight is stressing their back, and then we can simply wiggle away from our partners, which will increase the leverage load on their lower back tremendously, and then we can finish our triangle with ease. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you always finish your triangles from now on in. If you don't, you let me know, but it, I think you'll find if you can learn these four tricks, every time you lock a triangle, you finish a triangle. Thanks very much, guys. I'll catch you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you loved it. For more videos, click here. And if you wanna to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. I'm Coach Tom, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.